have another. Huh? <laughs> I mean, how do you say exclamation point question mark without a word in front of it? You just can't. Today, we are going to do blender lemonade. So I saw this, I think it was on BuzzFeed? Anyway, it's been all over the internet. People are just like tossing lemons in uh, blenders and blending it up with some water and sugar and it makes delicious lemonade. Apparently like they don't even cut off the peel. You just cut it up and then you toss it into a sugar and water, press, blend, and then you have like instant lemonade. So I thought, that's fun. I want to try that out. So here we go. Lemonade. Um, this, oh. <laughs> I got it, I got it. I'm gonna wash these lemons, scrub them real good because you leave the peel on. And then uh, then we're gonna do some testing here. I saw various different recipes. Some of them didn't even have recipes, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it and see what tastes good. Or if it tastes good at all. I saw some recipes that require one lemon, I saw some that require three. Let's start low and go higher as we go. You know what I mean? So you're just supposed to quarter it like so, and then I'm gonna cut off kind of the extra ends because that seems like extreme pith that isn't needed. So here's my ultimate favorite blender in the whole world, Blend Tech. Okay, that's just about four cups of water. Put in the four lemon chunks. It's so splashy. I got a big handful of ice cubes here. I don't know how much sugar to add, so I'm gonna start with a quarter cup. That seems about about right to me, and then we can always add more if we need to. Quarter cup of sugar. Let's blend this baby up, shall we? All right, all right, hopefully this works because this would be really cool. Very foamy. Let's give it a little try. I mean, it just looks cloudy and lemony. That's not bad. I think it needs more lemon and more sugar. I think I need to double both things. All right, let's try it some more. Quarter of the lemon. Ooh, another quarter cup of sugar. Same thing, let's go again. It makes me so happy. Ah, so much quieter. Okay, let's see how this does. Very foamy, but I think the foam will probably settle, yeah? Mm. It's pretty good. It's definitely more lemony and more sweet now. I think that's better. There is a little bit of grit. I mean, there's a little bit of pulpiness still there, even with this giant blender, so that says something. It's good, but the thing is, is that I can still taste that pithy taste, you know? Like, I think it's just worth it just peel off the pith. Just peel off the, the skin before you do it. Just juice it properly. I mean, you know, if you have one of like these juicers, it doesn't seem like, what's the point? It's not that hard. You cut a lemon in half and squeeze, and then, you know, we could stir in some sugar or agave or whatever. I don't think, I don't think this is a good one. Yeah, every time I drink this, at first it's like, yay, delicious, and then it's like, ugh, bitter, and now it's like, mm, my mouth is hurting. Oh yeah, it gets more bitter. The more you drink it, the more it kind of lingers around in your mouth, the more gross it gets. And it hurts your mouth. My mouth hurts now. Don't make this. This is no good. I do not recommend this recipe. <laughs> yeah, it's just not driving for me. I think this is not, not a success. Don't make blender lemonade this way. Now that is my opinion. I'm sticking to it. I hope you like this short and sweet and bitter and lemony video. And if you do, let me know by leaving a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bon appetit. Cheers. <laughs>